As a child, I saw the mountains from the kitchen window, peaks standing silently in the distance. The high peaks had called to me always, enchanted my mind, created adventure and shaped the future. As a lad, I was fascinated by how something could be so big, so silent and so mysterious. I had to go there, had to see beyond the mountain tops, follow the streams and disappear in among the mists. I made it and I'd never regretted it. After a winter of dreaming, we've at last made it to this paradise of char in Pajalanta, Sweden's largest national park. One of the best moments is the time just before you start fishing. The water's just in front of my feet and hopefully there'll be a few fine trout and char swimming out there in the stream. We can't see any rises, so we assume the fish are standing deep. This is why we decide to fish using a colourful strike indicator, loaded with both a heavier and lighter nymph. This is a technique I managed to learn in New Zealand. A good strategy is to start fishing further out. Take it easy and carefully fish all the various parts of the river. It's important to make your cast upstream, as the heavier nymph will correctly place the lighter version in the holes. This makes the nymphs more attractive, they get the right sort of movement in the water. I usually call the char the greater garbo of the mountains, shy and temperamental, but beautiful and desirable. For a lot of people, char's the perfect ice fishing challenge. You can fish for it, lying on a reindeer skin on the ice, even in May. Fishing for char in the summer is completely different. Apart from it being unpredictable, it's also very fussy when it comes to food. The only thing I can say for certain is that char can be greedy, especially when it comes to Gamelus vulgaris, the freshwater shrimp. Here, in Voyotetno, the char has to compete for food with trout. When fully grown, both trout and char become predators, which means that a streamer can work well even for char. My personal favourites are red and yellow Mickey Finn with a silver body. I have friends who, however far they'd walked, would turn around if they'd forgotten the coffee. A caffeine pick-me-up now and again always brightens up the day and allows a pause for reflection and fellowship. Fishing isn't just about fishing, a short nap's always welcome.
As the fish moves downstream, Pally shares with us his own very personal war dance amongst the stones. Just think what it's like to experience such a wonderful day together with a good friend. It can only be described as pure and simple happiness. Fly fishing and camaraderie at its best. A delightful boat trip on still waters takes us back to the summer camp. In the distance, the mother mountain shelters the fly fishermen who've spent another day in her arms. Oh, hey. Okay. Ooh. You took my rod as well. <laughs> As the mountains fall silent, it's time to close our eyes and dream our way towards the dawn. <laughs> 